Why does the narcissist lie to you? Why do they give intentionally false statements? Why do they present false impressions? They are very insecure. They are uncertain or anxious about themselves. They are not confident. They do not show confidence in themselves or their abilities or qualities, which leaves them prone to lying. Lying is a natural reaction for the narcissist. It is often done without conscious thought. They always feel the need to lie, even when the truth would be more favorable for them. They will still continue to lie. This is due to their inner nature. It is due to what they are experiencing in their mind. It is a distinguishing quality or characteristic which they have developed over a long period of time, which has now become a part of their personality and character. Lying has become a part of their personality and character. It is designed to protect them from danger, risk, or an unpleasant experience. They are very vulnerable people, so this is a mechanism that they have created to protect them. It is the reason why they lie. They are very weak. They have to lie to you. They have to manipulate you. They have to play games to protect who they really are beneath the mask. The true part of them that is actually very fearful and insecure and underdeveloped. They never develop the true part of themselves. They develop a false self which has no basis or foundation which has made it to be very weak and vulnerable. All of the lies, manipulation and games are nothing more than an attempt to protect the weak, vulnerable person beneath the mask. Once you take the mask away, you will see that there's really nothing that would arouse your curiosity or interest. There's nothing that would catch your attention. There's nothing fascinating or captivating about them. Nothing that would be worth your time, money or effort. There's no basis or foundation. There's no real meaning or purpose in their lives. No passion for anything. There's nothing special about them and they know it, which is why they abandon their true self. They cover themselves with a mask to hide who they really are and focus on things that were more superficial, things that existed more on the surface because there is nothing deep or meaningful about them. They have no meaningful purpose. They lack depth of character. They lack understanding. So they lie to you to confuse you, to make things seem more complex, to make them seem more complex, to make them less easy to understand, to make it difficult for you to identify who they actually are. 
Because once you figure out who they are and what they're really about, you will discover that there's nothing even within them. There's nothing under their mask. Nothing beneath the surface. It's just an empty void. That is why they are never happy. That is why they hate themselves. And they experience a feeling of intense dislike or disgust for themselves and everything around them. Because within them is nothing but misery. A state or feeling of mental distress or discomfort. They are constantly miserable or discontented. And that is why they had to create a false self. Someone who might interest you. Someone who might excite your curiosity or attention. Someone who might provide you with amusement or enjoyment. Someone who might cause you to like them or participate in something with them by offering something of interest or advantage when most of what they display to you is nothing more than fabrications that they have invented to deceive you. Most of what they told you was a lie. Some of it might have been true, but most of it was designed to deceive you. You will never get the complete truth from the narcissist. And even if you do, it will only be followed with more lies and manipulation. They have to continue displaying their deceptive outward appearance. But they cannot do that without confusing you. Without incapacitating your mental abilities and preventing or discouraging you from doing something. If you discover their disadvantages or faults, if you discover their weaknesses, vulnerabilities or insecurities, they cannot be around you. They cannot be involved with you in any way because that puts them at a disadvantage. They need to have the advantage in every situation. They need to have the dominating or controlling position. Because once you discover that everything they display to you is nothing more than fabrications that they've invented to deceive you, once you discover that there is nothing exciting or interesting beneath their mask, you will instantly lose interest in them. You will leave them and they know this. From the moment they met you, they were expecting you to leave them because they haven't worked on anything to make them excited or interesting, to make them more desirable or effective, to be worthy of your appreciation. They are giving you a fake character to manage their difficulty to live or accomplish something. They lie about everything to excite your interest. They are very dependent on your interest in them to produce their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. Their own worth or abilities, their self-respect. They don't know how to establish this from within. They are always looking outside of themselves for external validation. And they will do whatever it takes 
to get it. The easiest thing for them to do is lying. So they will lie about anything that will make them seem greater than what they are. They don't see it as though it's wrong because it's a natural reaction that they do without conscious thought. It is a mechanism that they have created to protect them. It has become a part of their personality and character. So they don't see it as though they're doing something wrong. Even though the truth may be more favorable for them, they will still continue to lie. The lies are like a disguise. It covers or conceals them and gives them the ability to control you. It gives them the ability to influence or direct your behavior and the course of events. Lying is a part of who they are because they are so worried about what other people might think or how they might see them. They care a lot about their image. They care a lot about the general impression that they present to the public. And that is why they do all of this, to keep you interested in them, to minimize the risk of you leaving them. prevent them from being exposed. They have to continue their facade. They have to continue their deceptive outward appearance. They are not going to stop lying. They are not going to change. They're not interested in self-reflection or going within. And that is the problem. That is the reason why the lies will continue. Because for them to self-reflect or look within, they would have to accept their entire lives have been a fabrication. Their entire lives have been nothing more than an invention, a lie. And while that might be difficult to accept, if they were able to display strength or courage, they would then be able to realize that while their lives up until this point might have been a lie, they still have the opportunity to make a difference to how the rest of their life might pan out. They have the opportunity to be grounded in reality if they were just willing to accept the truth rather than holding on to their lies to help them cope with reality. They live in an alternate reality. Their entire lives are a lie. So being real or genuine, being honest, or having high moral standards is not important to them. It is not of great significance or value. Those righteous behaviors don't help them to succeed in producing their desired or intended result because they are already at a disadvantage. Lying can provide them with instant success. So they choose to lie rather than to tell the truth because it is more effective for them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.
click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at nogsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.